are you looking for some simple styles to add to your lettering? Maybe you are getting tired of doing the same style over and over and you just need some inspiration. I'm going to show you seven font styles that every hand lettering beginner can master. You don't have to know how to do every style out there, but just having a few different ones can really improve your lettering. If you're new here, I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights. I teach hand lettering simply so you can feel good about your lettering right where you are. Before I show you the styles, I have a super fun announcement. I'm doing something I've never done before on YouTube. I am going to letter your requests. Yep, leave a comment below with any word you would like to see lettered and I will make a video with all of them. I have a book coming out on February 2nd. I can't believe how soon that is coming. I wanted to have some kind of a lettering party on February 2nd, so that's why I thought of lettering your requests. Leave your requests today and I'll share the video on February 2nd and maybe it'll feel like we're lettering together. I like picturing you and all of your friends and all of our lettering friends coming over and sitting at my kitchen table, pulling out our favorite pens and lettering together. Wouldn't that be so fun? So this is your chance to have me letter anything you want. Is it a name, a tricky word you're struggling with? And I will use different font styles from my new book to show you how I letter different words in those styles. Let's get into it. Seven font styles that every hand lettering beginner can master. So first is the monoline script. This one is really cute just for something really simple and you can use any pen for it using different thicknesses. The pens I'm using here are Monami Plus 3000. I really like these. If you haven't seen my video unboxing my book and showing you everything that's in the book, let me just remind you that these font styles are styles that I chose specifically for beginners that I think these ones are really great to have to use together or switch it up. I think if you can master just these few, that can be a really big help to your lettering. Next is the florist script. So this one is a little more loopy, adding some cute flourishes. Definitely a fun way to add a little bit of flair to your lettering. The pens I'm using are Pentel Touch brush pens. These are great for beginners and would make a great companion to my book. I normally use this font style when it's a standalone word or quote. Because there's so many flourishes and embellishments, you just don't want to overdo it. Unless that's your style, unless that's exactly what you like, right? Who am I to say that's wrong if all you want is over-the-top flourishes? As long as you can read it, there's nothing wrong with that. In my own lettering, I typically use it when I don't have a lot of extra things going on besides the flourishes. Next is the Chunky Faux Calligraphy. This one I love so much to be able to do different color inside. I really like doing galaxy lettering inside or rainbow lettering inside. It's such a fun way to make a word stand out. Pens I'm using are the bullet tip side of the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. These are probably my favorite pens to use with this style because that's how I get the nice blends inside the letters. I hope these different font styles gives you some inspiration. If you would like to practice these with me, check out my book. There is a unique project to go with each font style, something that I thought would look great with the font style. So a unique tutorial and you can see all of that. I will leave the details of how to get my book below. Next is the print style. I think having this style is so important to be able to do a print style with your script style lettering. I also like doing a thick version of this to do some really pretty blending. The pens I'm using are Marvi Le Pen Flex. These are really great small brush pens. My only complaint is that I wish there were more varieties in colors. I like these colors. They're especially nice if you like really earthy tones. I typically like brighter colors, but the nib itself is so, so nice. Next is the Elegant Script. This one is a little bit bouncy, a little bit flowy. This one is my go-to font. I love it. I love that it's elegant and classy and can be used for a lot of different things. I think this style looks great with larger pens or smaller pens, so it's really versatile depending on the look you want. You can do it larger and chunkier or smaller and more elegant. The pens I'm using here are Faber-Castell Pit Artist brush pens. 
These are really nice because you can use them as small brush pens or larger medium sized brush pens. They're really nice. Next is the brush pen faux calligraphy. You've probably seen me doing this one often. I love this style. I think it's such a fun way to add something to your lettering. It kind of looks like a shadow, kind of looks like a stripe. It's also a pretty simple base, so there's not many loops in it. It's really straight to give emphasis to those stripes. The pens I'm using here are Tombow Fudonosuke brush pens. These have a firm tip, so that's really helpful to be able to get these really thin lines that I'm getting in this style. These pens are also great because they are waterproof. So if you want a waterproof option for a small brush pens, this is a great way to go. Lastly, this is seven font styles. The most basic style is what you'll practice for the first part of this book. If you don't feel ready to do any of these other styles that I showed you, this one is the most basic just to get you started. Which of these styles is your favorite? Or is there another style that you think every beginner should know? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to leave your requests of what you want to see me letter. You'll see this basic style in the faux calligraphy section with lowercase and uppercase, as well as with small brush pens and large brush pens with lowercase and uppercase. So that's the most basic to get you started. Then you have the rest of the styles to play around. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to remind you the way you create right now is exactly where you need to be. I will see you next time.